All right, here we are. How is everybody doing today? Uh, please let me know how the audio sounds. I'm gonna ask that right away out of the gate here. This is actually a, a new mic. It's basically the same mic I had before, uh, same model anyway, but it's mounted in a nice new shock mount up off the, uh, the desk here. And uh, hopefully the settings are all good and the sound levels are great and all that, that stuff. Um, I'm excited because it gives me a little more desk space, a little more uh, whatever, and hopefully maybe even ups the audio quality a little bit because it's not uh, not going to feel any desk vibrations and stuff. But So welcome everybody. Oh, thanks for the sub, Chase the Bat. Welcome James Clark, Satan the Skate, Johnson, Adam Vermillion, Victor, Corey, Andy, Metalhead, Jason, Setsuna, McCord, David, Pathologically Cute, Eduardo, Gumpla Viking, Weeks, Gojira, Nianji. What is up, everybody? Cool. Glad to hear the audio is good. Uh, today I'm hopefully finishing up. Get this thing in uh, in frame here. The G1 Optimus. It's been pretty fun so far. Definitely a bit of a different build compared to the uh, the Gundam stuff I'm doing, especially compared to that real grade I was doing uh, a few weeks back. So it's waist and legs, and then it's basically done. So I can't wait to uh, knock all that up. You know who needs a compost or Oklahoma? Can't really help you there. Same thing with Michigan. I think the one is more than I can handle right now, honestly. I'm not sure that I would open multiple retail locations. But I guess never say never. Who knows what the, uh, the world looks like a few years from now and what makes sense. As it is, I have been absolutely overwhelmed the past the past few weeks. Like things are kind of under control, but um, as a lot of you know, we've, we're in the process of hiring. So I've been interviewing, phone screening last week, interviews this past this past week. So that eats a lot of time researching. HR outsourcing and payroll companies and all that fun stuff and uh, checking in a new inventory we launched a discord contest this week and there's just a million things going on I've got a to-do list like a mile long of things I didn't get done during the week that I'll hopefully get on to for uh, this uh, this weekend, maybe tomorrow. We playing without one. Afraid what would happen with your wallet? Yeah, I, I definitely don't have the resources for it now. We'll uh, we'll see what happens in a few years. Who knows what things are going to look like down the road with the way things are right now in the world. Make sure you take time for two for yourself. Two, Nick, don't burn out when you're only just starting. No, I'm doing good. I think actually my I was probably on the verge of burning out before the move. Uh, but being in the wheel warehouse, I've got, got a little bit more separation between work and life. You know, it's not perfect. I mean, I don't know if it ever is for anybody, no matter what your situation is. But, but it's, it's certainly a lot better. And uh, today's a good example of that. Today we celebrated my son's seventh birthday. So, just a little family party. Nothing, nothing big or super special. Got my son a uh, Haro loader. That was his gift from me and my wife. One of our two gifts for him anyway. Minyanji hype for the new Discord challenge. Yeah, I'm excited too, actually. I think that'll probably be the next thing I work on is some 30-minute mission stuff on the on the channel here. Hardy, I'm so stoked for the Discord challenge. My gear's been spinning all week. Nice. Nick, are you taking pre-orders for the PG Unleashed? 
Uh, I will be as soon as I get a chance to order them. I'm not really sure how some of these bigger shops can offer pre-orders so much sooner than I feel like I can. I don't know if they're just going on risk or if they research what the uh, the pricing would be and before Bluefin even announces that they're importing them. Uh, but I will definitely be offering pre-orders once I can order some. I hate the idea of selling something I don't have and don't know that I'll have. But I'm, I'm sure, based on how popular it is, Bluefin will definitely be bringing it in. So once uh, once I can secure some, I will we'll open up some pre-orders for that. We'll probably start uh, at least emailing out pre-order opportunities more often, too. We've only basically been listing them on the Discord the past few. But... I'll take that a little more more public. Eduardo excited for the Discord contest. It'll be my first entry. Nice. Happy birthday, little Nick. Thanks, Artie. I'll have to tell him that you guys are wishing him a happy birthday. With Discord channel, it's about 30-minute missions. I don't really hang out in there. Yes, Banham, it's a 30-minute missions. Basically a kit bashing contest. It's a skill builder challenge. We, we're basically challenging people to try a skill they haven't done before while kit bashing 30 minute missions, whether that be just 30 minute missions and related accessory kits or with other kits altogether. Kind of leaving it really open ended and uh, quite a range because it's, it's not really about being competitive as much as it is about challenging people to get outside their comfort zone and try something new. Uh, okay, E17. Hey, Aaron Lewis, what's up? David, how can I join the Discord? So Discord is for customers only. So if you've made a purchase and your name looks familiar, I think you might have, uh, you should get an email uh, from the store after that first purchase with a invite link and all that jazz. If for some reason you didn't and you have purchased, feel free to email me, DM me anywhere, and I will be more than happy to, to help get you sorted out in that regard. For some reason, certain people don't seem to get them. I'm not sure if they go to spam or if there's some other glitch in the, uh, the email server and how I, they send stuff out, but it does happen occasionally. B. Runner B, B2, three. Here we go. Uh, what's up, Mr. J Hound? Or moves I'm trying to figure out what to do for the Discord challenge. That will be a challenge in itself. Again, I don't think the larger stores actually have orders yet. A bunch of them have disclaimers about price changes and stock increasing or decreasing. Yeah, see, I'm not, I'm not willing to do that right now. I don't have enough experience with within the industry ordering this stuff to feel like I can get it right the first time. And I just, I hate disappointing people. As it is, I had to uh, send out some gift cards to uh, kind of apologize for our Hello Kitty pre-orders that we had done because the whole COVID thing and some snafus with the supplier delayed when we had uh, product in for that and so I really I'd rather not screw up so you can can rest assured that a pre-order will show up a new uh, PG unleashed is awesome I'm gonna save up for that one I might do that one that one it does sound interesting I haven't looked at all the details but it looks like it'll be pretty cool and I do have an unbuilt 30 minute mission that's been not sure to try though. Yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do. I think I'm going to use one of those alto ground types as at least the uh, the base of what I do. Of course, I won't be winning anything, but it seems like a good excuse to uh, give something a try. Speaking of ordering stuff, by the way, we do have that live 10 code up on the site tonight. Uh, so. If you are on the market for anything uh, kit-wise, uh, please feel free to take advantage of that and uh, save yourself a little bit and help out uh, me and my store.
We have uh, had a lot of orders come in the past uh, week or two, or at least come up ready to ship. So had to uh, spend quite a bit of the business's cash on uh, on orders that came up. So you could definitely use use some more cash so I can buy the paints I was planning on ordering last week. Some who feel like they just taken orders for PG Unleashed is going to do it on a first come first serve for each batch they receive. That's probably the case, and that's uh, their prerogative. Anybody who's been uh, been following Mecca Warehouse and the way I do things for a while know that I think the the customer comes first, and uh, you should have more of a, a guarantee than that. So. If you are willing to wait, I know a lot of, I think I've heard a few stores have already sold out of their pre-orders. Um, we will definitely have pre-orders at some point, and when you do, you know you will get them. And that you're not going to get, get jerked around or get an indefinite delivery. Not a real pre-order from the way I see it. Yeah, I mean it. It probably helps them because they they know how many they should order. Based on how many uh, how many they sold before they can even order them, but I think it's a little less than uh, than fully honest, but you know, not necessarily wrong. Just not how I do things. Not how I roll. Did I get the wrong part? Doesn't look like the right part. I did get the wrong part. That's what happened there. Uh, pathologically cute. Oh, what's tonight's giveaway? Tonight's giveaway is actually a Portanova White the, the 30 minutes mission skit. Thought that'd be fitting given the uh, that contest they're running now on the Discord. And... Uh, yeah, and I think I might draw a few other things. But I'm going to keep those a, a surprise. For now, at least. Hey, hey, it's been a couple weeks since I joined a live session because of work, but glad to be here. Welcome back, Alex. David Cannon, I would love to try the Port Nova Marine type, but it's so hard to find. Yeah, I bet those are... Some of those unique ones come and go a bit. I think a lot of the more standard ones are easier to find. Alex Thomas, have you officially moved in? Good to go at the new location. Yes, we are We are moved in. We've been there for, I think, almost a month. I think it was basically a month ago, four weeks ago, I think, that we was the move weekend. So we're moved. We're accepting orders. Everything is running smoothly at this point there's a few things i need to still work out but everything's working out pretty well at this point victor you still got pre-orders open mgx i do have orders open for the mgex uh, i sent out a note to everybody who had ordered those we got a message from our supplier that uh, they are basically rationing those they had some production issues so they're only delivering like 20 percent of what each customer ordered now and then they'll get the rest later so uh we're gonna dole those out in the order that the orders were received uh, but i'm actually working on an alternate source and seeing if i can get a few more to help fulfill those orders but i am willing to accept pre-orders for those but i would just uh make sure you know if you place a pre-order for an mgex you might not get it for a little while based on the state of supply Boom. and 
let's see, 6 and 16. Let's cut these out real quick. Where are 16? There are 16. All right, I think those are all the parts. PG Unleashed keeps selling out. Pre-orders are all over, I bet. See, this game, I've got 100 for you tonight. Nice. Thank you. Comes with Viking. Super excited for the Skill Builder Challenge, but at this point, you don't have any of the Seal Nova models in stock. Yeah, I think we might be getting some in in the next week or two. Um, I think some might have even shipped, but I'm not 100% sure without looking. I'll have to look later for you if you're... If you want to know, they might be on uh, the incoming channel on Discord. Is that Jesus? Hey, Ferdy. Yay, surprise. Yep. Weeks okay, I just got started by MG Barbatos. Man, that thing is awesome. We just got those restocked this uh, a couple days ago. We had run out. We got a bunch of those now. So if you've been looking for one and uh, haven't had a chance to get one, we got them. Nova White is a nice kit. I, I, I've seen a lot of those, uh, I think a lot of 30 minute mission stuff is pretty, pretty good. I haven't really built any of it myself. My wife's, I think like halfway through a Porta Nova that she's been working on, which is cool. And from what I've seen, it looks like it's a pretty good kit. You can point out where's the best place to get those 3M sanding sponges. Do you carry them? I don't carry the 3M. We've got uh, Tamiya, God Hand, and Madwork sponges right now. I want to carry them at some point. I also want to do a comparison with the uh, the other stuff. With the, uh, whatchamacallit, Tamiya, Madwork, God Hand any other big players on the market and get kind of a comparison of what is uh what's good out there and what the trade-off of uh money is carter tweet us how do we enter the giveaway so the giveaway basically the way we do the giveaways here is at a few random times throughout the night, I will basically just ask everybody to throw a random number in the chat in a certain range, and then I draw a number. And if your number comes up, you win the prize. If nobody picks it, then we uh, defer it and draw again a little bit later. So we'll be probably be doing the first draw coming up here pretty soon. It looks like Alex is explaining it as well. Our moves kit bashing for me is a new thing in and of itself. Kind of same here, Lisa Messner. Hi, Nick. How's your night going? It's going really well. I had a headache and I was exhausted earlier. I think I've got enough sleep this week, but I seem to have hit my second wind, so I'll probably crash really hard as soon as the stream is over and the adrenaline wears off. But uh, Julius asks MGX or PG Unleashed, which is better to get? I don't know. To me, the MGEX seems overpriced, but I'm also not the biggest unicorn fan, so I think it depends on your own how to use your money. David, uh, this be 3.0 nippers are pretty much equal to God Hand, in my opinion. I have both. I want to compare those to all the uh, the major nippers on the market. I have a feeling that that would be a useful thing for people. Just told my wife to come out with PG Unleashed RX 178. I'm buying it. Super hot burrito. <laughs> uh, George, how's the new warehouse dick enjoying all of that, that space? Yes. It's uh, it's nice having space. It's so much better than the, the attic. I think I'm way more efficient. Uh, I think I... I feel like I could use more space than I have, but I think it's, it's the right balance for me right now. I'm glad I didn't go any smaller. 
but I feel like it's going to be filling up before I know it. But we'll see. All right, so that goes there. This goes in here. Alrighty. Headaches suck. I remind the house had one last night for different reasons. That that stinks. I've been getting a lot more lately. I don't know why. My wife gets really bad headaches. I don't know if it's just been less sleep lately. With everything going on. Late nights in the the attic and stuff like that, or what? I think it's been getting a little bit better though. Stocking retail PG Unleashed, Nick. Yeah, I'll definitely stock some. We'll do the pre order, and I mean, I plan to basically carry everything I can at some point or another. I'd, I'd like to have all the Gundam kits and a lot of the other mecha and related plamo stuff available kind of all the time but the main limiting factor is just uh, the financial side having enough cash to stock everything and keep enough to have them in stock until until they get you know reprinted it's definitely the hard part predicting how long We'll have uh, kits in stock and stuff. All right, D2 and 3. This is like the front skirts, I think. But the kid I want my hand on sooner, definitely the MG Red Astray. Hopefully, we get those restocked. We got the uh, Turn Red in recently. That's a pretty cool kit. I haven't built any of the Astray stuff myself, but that one looks kind of kind of neat. If you want to light up Unicorn, the MGX is more cost effective. 220 gets you everything where you still need to spend an additional 110 top of that to light up the PG. It's probably a valid point. You need a big warehouse where you need to use a rascal. <laughs> Someday. It's a two-year lease, so the game plan is to uh, to outgrow it in two years. So when the lease comes up, we can uh, bump up to uh, either like a double unit or triple unit, depending on uh, how fast our growth seems to be. Hope so. I look forward to seeing your growth. Thanks, George, Patrick, Geese, and Hope. And the Unicorn MGX does well enough for them to do some different units in the future. I bet they will do everything. Unicorn, they'll probably roll out a um, a Banshee and and uh, a Phoenix down the line. They might be like part uh, P Bandai or something though. But I ca I can't see them just uh, doing that and then walking away from it, knowing how they seem to operate. Air moose, I get migraines every now and then too. Tends to be tied to stress and allergies. Like, yeah, I believe that. Allergies have been been rough lately. I actually just dropped all my allergy supplements that I was taking, trying to uh, keep my allergies down, and there's been like no change. So I think I've been wasting money on uh, my urine, basically. Some experience. Beds of piss with all the uh, stuff I've been taking, trying to knock my allergies down. Might need to be my second PG, but the first I build. Yeah, people seem to be eating that one up. Cult 5G and Wi Fi. Yep, my Xmas gift to myself will be the PG Unleashed. Nice. Cody, hey Nick, how is Optimum going tonight? very well the uh, the waste unit seems to be going pretty smoothly hopefully the legs go smooth too and I can uh, finish this sucker up tonight Phil, 
the okay what's the grit in your 3m sanding sponge you're using uh, i forget the exact grits i used to have a little sheet that i had hanging around here but i seem to have misplaced it recently i should probably try to find it again i think it ranges from like 320 400 something like that up to about 1500 I don't think you really need to go higher than 1500 for the most part you can and there's probably advantages for specific applications but i don't find a need and uh anything too much uh, lower than like three four hundred and you're just gonna tear up the part Yeah, Banshee is a lock for an MGEX variant. P Bender, we're going to retail be the question. Totally agree there. Victor, how's the growth been going so far? How long have you been selling Gundam? So, growth recently, I feel like we're still in a uh, return to our pre move kind of phase because we had reduced our stock quite a bit and shut off some marketing for a little while during the move. So, now that we are are done with the move we're kind of replenishing things and i think things are coming back we're getting close to where we were i'd like to be be closer or be doing doing a little more than we are especially considering i have the, uh, the new expenses and stuff but things aren't going too bad not far enough to have me completely freaking out yet Uh, weeks, yep, sinus and allergies have me crashing. Sniper better late than never. Nike, what's up, Nike? Sniper. Minyanji, what's everyone building tonight? I've been continuing G-Self on the Zoom post stream. Nice, how was that kit? But I kind of funny that any random automotive word could be a transformer name stuff from the military technology. Like side swipe, long arm, smoke screen, hot shot are all transformers. That's pretty true too. Anything you can think of. A one sixteen. Breaking planet join, complete university stream after next stream. That's definitely a good option too. Barbatos, cool. I grabbed a 400, 600,000, 1500 Maverick sponges. Thanks for the green sticker, by the way. Nice fill. Spend the day priming the blue parts of the blue astray. Second revised, cool. Rating that eight. Place my first order at your store. Do you have a free shipping dollar amount for future purpose? Pers yeah, future purchases. We don't do uh, any free shipping. There's no threshold for that at the moment. If you're in the continental U.S., thirteen dollars is the cap though on shipping. So anything once you hit that thirteen, everything you add after that is basically free shipping wise. Um, at some point we might come up with a free shipping tier. I think I need to negotiate better shipping rates with my shipping carriers though before I can do that because some of those big orders cost a bundle to ship. And I'm usually I'm usually paying a lot out of pocket to uh, to ship some of those large orders. The $13 definitely doesn't cover it. A couple of I can build in my first Zaku nice which variant Pathologically cute. I'm moving in a couple weeks. I already picked up my workbench. Nice. Phil is an awesome kid for certain. Let's see. 3M sponges. There you go. That sounds like the the numbers that Gojira just posted. Those look right. A chance of restocking for Sinji Stein narrative in Verka. $13 is a huge box, to be honest. Yeah, that 13 will cover 
you know, huge stuff too. If you, uh, you know, if you bought out the whole store, it would be 13 bucks to ship it all, which would obviously cost a lot more than 13 to ship. I'm just waiting for the day someone orders enough, I gotta send it in pallets. Um, Cody, still no sales tax though, it's nice. That is true too. If, you, uh, if you're in a place where one of the other stores charges you sales tax, you should keep that in mind when uh, um, price shopping and comparing, because we don't have sales tax. New Hampshire is great like that. It's probably one of the biggest perks and one of the main reasons that I would probably not set up shop in another uh, another state, set up a second location. I should also mention while I remember it that, that next week's stream we'll be doing a ton of giveaway stuff. More than usual will be uh, hopefully, I'm getting getting confident that it'll, it'll be true, but I hope to be making a uh, big announcement, have some cool stuff going on. I wish I could tell everybody now what's going on, but you will uh, find out about that. Uh, Hopefully next week, assuming everything comes in, I need to come in. RX178, do you say no sales tax? Yeah, absolutely. So, I think some people don't realize that when they place their order, but some shops, a lot of shops, I think, charge sales tax these days. I don't know who else remembers the earlier days of the internet. And, uh,. I definitely do when you could place an order nearly anywhere online and there was no sales tax. But there's there's some that are definitely starting to charge sales tax no matter where you are. Bad hand, we're getting some new swag. I can't say for sure, wink wink. 15 and 17 here. Um, in most places, no sales tax if ordering out of your own state. That's true, but there's some, I think like a lot of shops in California charge sales tax regardless, for example. And some other places do too. It seems like a lot of that's starting to tighten up. But where New Hampshire itself doesn't even charge sales tax, then uh, I'm going to try to completely avoid that. Patrick Eason here in Maine. I still got to estimate winter sales tax at the end of the year for my taxes. That's so lame. Victor, when is Mecca Warehouse anniversary? So there's two potential dates that you could use or part times of the year. The business itself started, I believe, technically in November of 2018. But the Mecca Warehouse name was April of 2019. So I kind of consider April to be like the uh, birthday month of the business. We had a big sale last, last year in April. Transform and roll out. Even PSN is charging sales taxes on purchases. Translation, there will be swag. <laughs> Wait, PSN is charging sales tax now. Oh man, crazy stuff. I mean, a lot of I've done a lot to try to reduce my liability because technically, if you have a nexus, like if you if you have somewhere else ship from a place that charges sales tax, you could be liable for at least the sales tax in that state too. So we've uh, we've stopped any sort of drop shipping. Everything ships right from here, and uh, and that's uh, a cool thing, I think. State based is each state sales. 
That's different. I've ordered from Cali computer stuff, but the sales tax I got was my state's rate. Yeah, that's interesting. I think that... I think some of these states now are... Uh, they're like working together to try to collect their sales tax, basically. Shoot. And like help cross and force that stuff. But New Hampshire is free of all that stuff, at least for now. to do or something. That piece doesn't like staying on. There we go. At the waist, I should do another hip unit and I'm going to uh, do that one other piece and then we'll do this first draw. I'm gonna drink some water so I don't get dehydrated. If you're a die, the only state slogan is also a threat. Yep, I think people take that literally here with the uh, no, uh, we've got no law for adults wearing seat belts or motorcycle helmets either. Those activities I think you should do though. Probably want to wear a seat belt and uh, a helmet on a motorcycle is probably not a bad idea either. I'm definitely not about to condone helmetless motorcycle riding. But then again, I guess that leaves things cleaner. You just <laughs> all or nothing. You don't have to worry about bad injuries, you'll just die. Depends what county you're from in Cali, some of higher than others. Probably unless you enjoy living dangerously. Yeah, exactly. If you want the all or nothing lifestyle. I just don't think it's a smart thing to uh, condone people not taking necessary safety precautions. Pretty good, we got 70 viewers in here. All right, so got those two down. Looks like it is time to do the feet. We've got 70 viewers in here. Let's uh, let's do our first draw for the night. So if you uh, excuse me, if uh, you want to win a Porta Nova white 30 minute missions kit, let's drop a number in the chat between let's say one and uh, one and 140. One and 140, one number per person. Please don't post a second number. Even if somebody else takes your number, we can uh, we can deconflict that, no problem. And it helps eliminate the chance of somebody cheating intentionally or even accidentally. Okay, so I'm gonna do these feet. Let's knock out both feet at the same time this time around so b1 seven and nine cut 
these suckers out real quick. Two is the the runner for the, all this stuff. Are there two of these runners? There we go. What is going on? Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. From the other runner. I'm going to draw this number in a moment here. But this is my chance to get ahead when the check goes quiet. Cut out a bunch of pieces here. Five, six, seven, eight. Weeks, it's no big deal. Don't worry about it. People shouldn't be retracting numbers though, because that just makes things more complicated. But why don't I there? So everybody can see. I said between one and one forty, so let's. Let's draw this number. Dun 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 dun. dun. Fifty four. Did we get a fifty four? I don't see a 54 if anyone else wants to confirm that there's no 54 so I guess we'll draw again in a I don't know 20 30 minutes oh. so we hear my back cracking absolute mess one two and ten Hopefully these will go quick. Let's do these in order here, I guess. It goes to buy Optimus from Mecha Warehouse sold out, sad trombone. Yeah, it's a bummer. We actually have a, a different version 
than the uh, the G1 is what this one is. We have the I want to say it's the IDW version, the uh, limited clear one. It comes in a tin. It's pretty cool. I'm not big on clear kits myself, but I have to say the tin itself has piqued my interest. No music this week, or have I not noticed that it's been gone? Can you not hear the music? There is music playing. It's a pie choice this week. No pie choice, actually, but my wife made a birthday cake because we were celebrating my son's birthday. She made a... Uh, I don't know how you describe it, what the, uh, the classification of this cake was. It was basically a two-tiered building... And she had a truck crane next to it because my son had asked for a truck crane, Kate. Hear nothing? I hear the music. So at least one person hears it. That's odd. So the two tiered cake with a truck crane lifting a sign onto the top of it. There's actually a picture on my uh, personal Instagram page, nick.savory. On the uh, stories, I snapped a pic earlier today. It's a really cool cake. My wife put a lot of work into it. It's like a chocolate chip flavored cake. With uh, like a fondant cover to make some iced little windows and stuff to make it look like a building. It's super low. I can try bumping it up a little bit. I played with the uh, sound levels a little bit. Those things would be pretty awesome if there were more anime themed gunpla from other shows. Naruto, DBZ, One Piece. DBZ has a bunch of kits. The figure, figureized standard kits. I tried bumping the, the music volume a little bit. I was playing with sound levels earlier today I'm trying to figure out how to bring a guest into the stream because I might have a guest next week I'm gonna build a cake once Optimus is done lol she needs to have a baking YouTube channel I need to do more baking yeah she probably should I think she would go crazy though trying to do it she's not Not the kind of person who likes being in public. I'm hoping once when we start doing like in-person live events and stuff that maybe we will uh, be able to bring some crazy, <clears throat> excuse me, baked goods and stuff to either sell or uh, give away depending on the event. Well, said she's tired of looking at smaller size gunplay. She wants something a little more impressive. So my Christmas list got Davis and PG. <laughs> nice. Alex Thomas DBZ does well. Damn, I'm behind. Thanks, Nick. Else, do you have any of the SD Dynasty Warrior available? The uh, Sengoku kits, um, Alex? I've got a few Sengoku on the shelves right now, if that's what you're talking about. Or is Dynasty Warrior something else? I feel like I... I'm not super familiar with that. Do you like cake pies or cakes more? It depends on the, the pie or the cake. I mean, a good apple pie. And I guess, I think my favorite would be a pie my wife hasn't made in a while. I can get her to start watching these streams so I can give her subtle hints about what desserts to make. She, she used to make this uh, as a chocolate peanut butter pie. It was basically like a chocolate cream pie, but there was like a peanut butter type layer to it, and it was like perfect. So good. My wife started avoiding peanuts, so she'd stop making it. You know what you have in inventory off the top of your head? Some things, most, most stuff I, I know. Things that are coming in, I'm a little bit not as good on, but things that are in, I have a pretty good idea what's on the shelves. 
key lime pie. Not not my favorite. Yeah, Sengoku is what I'm talking about. Yeah, we've got, got a few of those low quantities on them. We haven't restocked that stuff in a while. But we do have some around. Dynasty Warriors because I played the game first before I got into Gunplay and saw the Son of Goku. Gotcha. <laughs> My debit card got locked, bro. Otherwise, I'd buy more kits. That's a bummer. I hate when that happens. Like, you make a purchase somewhere, they, uh, they make a decision that you purchased something out of your normal pattern and lock your card. Like, it's great in the protection against fraud and stuff, but in the ass when you really want to buy something. Especially if you're physically at a store or something and your card stops working. It's one thing when you're at home and it's pretty convenient to get on the phone, but you're waiting in line somewhere and you get up to the register and your card goes, goes all locked on you. Oh, Nick, I'm sad now. Key lime or lemon meringue pies are my favorite. Yeah, lemon meringue. I've got a thing like against lemon meringue. I think. I think I uh, had one and threw up soon after when I was a kid, and it kind of ruined lemon meringue for me. I'm a big fan of chocolate desserts. Everything else is kind of second class, except for maybe like apple pie. And maybe a few others that do okay, but chocolate by default works well. I call, but they just tell me to go in person, or maybe I'll call tomorrow. That sucks. It's even worse. <laughs> Needs more pie for you, Cody. There you go. That's definitely a strategy. Especially if you're the only person in your household that likes a certain kind of dessert. My wife went all out with sugar cookies too, decorated for my son. She does some crazy sugar cookie stuff too. in Amarillo, Texas at the Sprint store to pay a bill a few years back and my bank would let me process let them process my card because the store was on their fraud list. Oh jeez.
Interesting foot. That's pretty good toe articulation, though. Doesn't really go down, but... And there's a little bit of a side-to-side -side rotation in the foot. Interesting. Omelets or frittatas? Definitely omelets. And the best omelet I ever had it used to be my favorite when I was in college. They were like the really thin kind. In the morning that this guy had make the omelets and that was like the highlight of my day. It's like the only reason to go to the cafeteria at school. It's like the only thing I can cook too is an omelet. Based everything I try to work on on that around the way those omelets came out. Ham and cheese. Super thin uh, layer of the egg and stuff, and just perfect. Hammy, cheesy goodness. I ended up getting an MS card that I use only for larger international orders. If my local bank blocked too many online orders, I think we haven't had too many issues. Every once in a while, though. It does suck though if your uh, your card starts coming up with like fraud stuff and you start getting weird charges. It's so it's it's kind of nice that they that they pay attention. Uh, any thoughts on the TR6 KR2? I don't really have any thoughts on it. I haven't built built it or any of the Ages Ada stuff actually. Some of it looks cool, but. Not enough that I'm willing to shell out uh, P Bandai prices for. At least not right now. Maybe I'll I'll get into it later. Go Jerry. When Bandai specifies paint ratios for kit builds, are they using any specific paint brand to make the color? Usually, I think it's the Mister Mister Color. Because that's the GSI Creos Creos. However you pronounce that, is uh, basically a Bluefin-owned brand, I think. Or at least has some sort of close, intimate partnership. Uh, Pathologically Q is one of the most worthwhile P Bandai Ages Ada kits around. Well, there you go. And, and Ian builds a bunch of Ages of Zeta kits, I think. Or Advances Zeta. I don't know why I just said Age. Number of viewers keeps climbing, that's cool. Without ridiculous giveaways too. Or maybe it's the mystery of what I'm gonna give away after this uh this Porta Nova that's drawing people in. Ham yeah, cheese and broccoli all covered in Hollandaise sauce. I'm not sure I'm up on the Hollandaise, but it sounds pretty good. I don't know, for me, eggs are weird. Sometimes I'm, I'm all over it. Sometimes they're just kind of meh. I guess it depends on how they're prepared. I'm going to start working with Mr. Color and Airbrushing, doing tons of research on thinning. Always got to check out thinning ratios and stuff. That's the worst when it's not thinned properly with any paint brand. I'm gonna get an airbrushing too, definitely weeks. Airbrushing is so worth it. There's definitely a bit of a learning curve to get into it though. Like if you don't have thinning ratios right and you don't understand how the equipment works, it can be really frustrating. But once you uh, once you got it figured out, I'm gonna have airbrushed my uh, my second high grade tall geese. I'm gonna try some uh, weathering on it. Maybe, maybe tomorrow, and then the final top coat, and it should be good to post and get in the case. I want to paint more kits myself. 
like watching food channels on YouTube, check out Binging with Babish. Babish. I'll have to check that out. My thing we've been watching a lot lately is uh, Bear Grill stuff. Man vs. Wild. That guy's insane. Absolutely insane. But super entertaining. And in theory, the information can save my life someday, so. Totally justifiable. What is going on? Ugh. Except the pee drinking. Yeah, exactly. I love how like every episode he's like, like, it'd be a really dumb idea to jump into this water that's freezing cold, it'll probably kill you. So I'm gonna jump into this freezing cold water. Eating this thing would be nasty, so I'm gonna eat two of them. one of the episodes we watched recently. He didn't drink the pee, he peed all over a t-shirt he ripped up and then wrapped it around his head. Trying to keep himself cool in the Sahara Desert or something. It's like, really dude? I guess if that's what you gotta do to survive, but. Okay, 11, 12, 13. Some of the places he goes and things he does are pretty cool, but I'm not really down for drinking my own pee. Or diving into Alaskan waters and then taking off all my clothes and doing burpees. Just does not sound like fun. Thing seems like a bad dare. Ever watch Naked and Afraid? The show is amazing. People left in the wilderness with almost nothing, not even clothes. I have not. That seems. Seems kind of rough, too. I felt like we were watching this episode, he was, he was like, met up with some, some Berbers or something in the desert, they are showing him survival stuff, and they fed him like, rock goat testicles and stuff, and telling him it's a, a delicacy, and I swear they're, they're sitting there laughing to themselves, like, ha ha ha, we, let's see what we can get him to do. Like, you eat it, I'm not gonna eat it, I'm full. They're really laughing. As soon as he leaves, they, they pull into their little little camp, pull out some hot pockets in their microwave and laugh about the silly British guy. Better <laughs> I jumped in the right spot. You definitely did, Z Tex. 
thinking of Fred is insane. I'll have to check that out. Are those people like trained or are they just like random people that have to try to survive? and like, what's up, I got a big backlog. Has it ever worked for you? Is the club a Gumpla Builders Club? That might, that might work there. Ray Guns, what's up? Survivor Man better with Les Stroud. I think I watched a little bit of that. The only thing that gets me about uh, Man vs. Wild is sometimes like they they just put disclaimers on it that sometimes they put them in situations intentionally or that, <clears throat> you know, it's kind of fabricated at times. <clears throat> but sometimes they like, it's obvious that he's not really doing things. <clears throat> like he, uh, you know, I'm not really spending the night out here, but here's what I would do if I'm if I would. But they they make it subtle enough that unless you're really paying attention, you miss that. <laughs> Record does have a wife, so maybe could be. Or his wife will find out that he's pimping his backlog out, and then then it's all over. People sign up for usually avid campers or hikers. They get tossed in a remote area with no clothes and just some basic tools that they're choosing. It sounds interesting. I recently watched the uh, the Eco Challenge Fiji thing they did. It was like a giant adventure race across Fiji. That looked like a lot of fun. Although definitely not something to uh, try if you don't know what the hell you're doing. Coin, I want a coin. We're all sold out of the uh, the coins, dude. Man vs. Wild video game is wild. You end up getting bit by snakes in the special area. <laughs> is that because you tried peeing on them? It seems like something Baron would do. Do you ever do an airbrush or battle worn designs? If so, I think that'd be a cool live stream to watch. I do some airbrushing. I haven't done that on a stream yet. I've got a camera set up. You can actually see it over here, pointing into my airbrush booth that's right over here. And I set that up with that in mind. I gotta figure out the audio situation though, because it is the compressor and the fan for the booth is just kind of loud. So I need to figure out how to uh, maybe block out some of that noise or something. Like watching Gordon Ramsay on National Geographic, I can't remember the name of the show, but he cooks dishes local countries visiting. We watched that one. That was a pretty good show, too. I actually think if I ran the world, I would I would make a show that was uh, Chef Ramsay and Bear Grylls, and they'd go into the wild, and Bear Grylls would find some random animal that he'd kill, and then Chef Ramsay would have to cook some disgusting animal into a gourmet meal in the middle of the wilderness. Maybe use snake skin to pee into, then drink it. Oh, uh, man. How do we get out of this? <laughs> I think I brought it up, so I'm just going to have to deal with it, I guess. Hmm. That would be worth. 
worth watching. Yeah, I think that would be an awesome show. So when I'm a bazillionaire and I can, uh, you know, on a first name basis with both guys and I can just call them up, I'll, uh, I'll make that show happen. If you run NVIDIA, you can use the RTX voice, the audio AI is amazing, cutting out the background noises from mics. I'm not, but maybe I gotta get a, maybe I need to uh, get a fancier uh, machine in here for streaming. So our foods with Andrew Zimmerman has him going all around the world eating some insane foods. Probably be weird too. I was able to get out of watch. Man, it's been a long day. Hey, games are welcome. Second draw pretty soon. used over there. Interesting. I think I'm going to be taking this back apart to do some more sanding before I paint it. Part two building tonight. I'm working on the waist and legs of the uh, G1 Optimus here. If you have to drink your own pitas, make sure you keep some of the flavor stuff you put in water with you and it'll be all good. There you go. Drop some crystal light in there or something. Hello from Shoreline Washington. What did I miss? Not too much. Been building, got the waist unit done. And the feet, working on, I think, the knee joints, basically. Well, this looks like uh, some lower leg frame. And then the leg external parts. So getting pretty close on here. But speaking of which, let's do let's do the second draw for tonight. So let's lower that number a little bit. Let's put a number in the chat between, let's say, 1 and 120. Remember, one number per person. If somebody else calls out that same number, do not uh, delete yours and try to repost. We will deconflict it with a coin toss or random number or whatever it takes to uh, figure that one out. And, uh, and yeah, so throw that number in there and we'll see who wins. We're drawing for the uh, Porta Nova White. good time to mention too next week we will have a multitude of prizes we could hopefully be at least that's the plan anyway we'll hopefully be releasing some some exciting information during the stream maybe have a guest 
should be an extra special stream. So mark your calendars for next week at 8.30. You'll want to be on uh, close to the beginning of that, that stream next Saturday if you can, because we'll probably do the exciting stuff in the first hour. most of it. We'll probably do giveaways all night next time like we usually do, but we'll do some special stuff. Coin? I asked for one. What about a coin, Paul? I think I already answered you about that. We don't have any of the coins left. They're, uh, they were sold only on the uh, the Discord. I sold the last one like a couple weeks ago. So we'll do a new run of a new design sometime next year, probably. I think. But they're uh, a limited edition thing. Discord members only, all that good jazz there. these parts together real quick and then uh, we will draw this number Number 31. Is that gonna come in focus at any point? There you go, 31. I think with the number of people here, we'd have trouble missing odds are we should hit somebody but it looks like we might have missed again I don't see a 31 32 and 33 no 31 okay we'll try again in a little bit we'll really shrink that or that range next time the, uh, the coin that he was talking about, everybody was interested. Not that we have them for sale anymore, but... There we go. That's one side. They're individually numbered. That's the other side. But if you can see if it will... Uh, I think it should be better in focus, but if you can't read it, it says Discord community member. They're available on Discord only. Limited edition, we got 100 made, but we are out. So 
definitely want to be on Discord if you want one of those. And uh, we'll probably do a 2021 edition. I'm not sure how many we'll make next year. Probably be more than 100, but be keeping it somewhat limited. But if you want one of the 2020 coins now, you basically have to uh, find someone who already has it that doesn't want it anymore. I just love the coin. Will it be one for next year? There'll definitely be a 2021 version, I think. I'm not sure what will be on it, what the design will be, but I think we'll do another one. <laughs> Look at this coin you can't have. I'm just really proud of it, man. I thought it came out really good. So I like the design we came up with. The quality was, was great. If anyone's ever looking for a challenge coin to have one made, I would uh, be more than happy to uh, refer you to the place I went through. But it's the uh, Corey Johnson can use to auction that coin. I guess I could. I've got, I've got a couple. I could probably take one of my spares and auction it or something. But this whole P Bandai of coins. It's the P Mecha warehouse of coins. I should have kept a, a stash. Uh, to sell it inflated prices down the line gradually probably make some real money doing that but I didn't I've got a full body of the store mascot for one side that might be cool that's building gunplug kit do you have any miniature games such as Warhammer 40k I find that a lot of people who build kits also build miniatures I'm thinking about 40k you need to have a storefront in order to sell 40k I think technically we might qualify now that we have a physical location depending on what we do there. So 40K is possibly in the cards for the future. I was in a 40K a while back, so I could totally see doing it. Would design be what you're teasing is with on Facebook? Maybe. It definitely hasn't been considered specifically for that, but it could be. What is 40k? 40k refers to Warhammer 40k. It's a sci-fi miniature game played with, I think they're 25 or 28 millimeter miniatures, but people basically paint these little plastic miniatures, customize them, all that stuff. Um, kind of like Gunpla, people build tanks and the little miniatures and customize them and, and all that kind of stuff. I kind of want to get into that again at some point. Just I, I used to enjoy painting and, and modeling them, so didn't really play all that much. But someday I might get back into 40k. You know, scribe their own panel lines before. What size scribes? Good question, Aralus. Hopefully, somebody's got a good answer for you. that's one of the reasons I like Gunpla because one of my favorite parts about that other hobby was the uh, the building aspect games workshop used to be such a pain to work with hope it's gotten better yeah I'm not sure what the situation is I know that they've got some uh, very serious policies Nick, do you like the movie designs or the G1 designs better for Transformers? You mean like the, which movies? You mean the, uh, like the Michael Bay movies or the old Transformer movies? Good 
But referring to the, the Michael Bay stuff, I'm definitely more into the uh, the G1 stuff. The Michael Bay movies were just way, the designs are just too busy. your question on that for a change no dodging this time <laughs> oh shit did I put that backwards man I'm gonna take these knees all apart with the Bumblebee film designs. I haven't seen Bumblebee, but the uh, the Bumblebee itself design, I think, is a little bit less busy in that. I think I like that one a little better. Finish my photo shoot time to edit. Nice. Bumblebee and Jazz are the only ones I prefer. Some lower leg frame frame stuff going on there. Michael Bay style. Yeah, I don't know. They were just way too busy. I mean, they're cool. But it just seemed like a bunch of parts whizzing around instead of an actual like integrated machine. Side effect of building the double X. OP keeps looping in my head and for the wrong reason. All right. Play as the fight scenes look like bug balls of metal thrashing around. Yeah, or big big balls of metal thrashing. Exactly. It was like a lot of like I'm trying to think of what the uh the franchise was, but I feel like there was something where it was like there were just I don't know. It didn't seem like a transformer, it just seemed like a bunch of metal moving around. Definitely not quite the same. So twenty one and twenty two is one, two Getting close to the end here. Let's do another draw actually while I start cutting out parts to do the uh, the armor on the legs. I'll do the right leg first, I think. But so let's do a number between one and ninety this time. Hopefully, hopefully that's uh, good enough to get ourselves a winner. So throw a number in the chat between one and ninety. Do not post multiple numbers. One number number per person. And. Uh, Let's see if we have a winner for this Portanova white.
pull D twenty one and twenty two. Coming together. I might have this thing done tonight. And then I can go to sleep with some satisfaction that I got something completed. Which is always a good thing. Undergating going on over here. time in the chat in a minute. I'll just finish this other blue part and then I'll uh, draw this number. Hopefully we get a winner this time. Throw time in the chat. Time can't change your number once you make a choice. With right, all right. Let's see here. Ninety is the range. Number twenty. Do we have a number twenty this time? I'm gonna lose my mind if. Oh, Phil. Phil Majowski's got a 20. Looks like, uh, looks like Phil's the winner. I guess I'm entering a contest now. There you go, Phil. So, Phil, hopefully you know the drill. You can shoot me a note. Uh, email nick at mechawarehouse.com. DM on Discord or other social with your shipping information and such. And uh, we'll get that shipped out. And just be prepared to uh, potentially answer some questions since we, uh, we've had... An attempt at contest fraud in the past. Hopefully, hopefully we don't get that again. I don't think we've seen that happen since that first time. But uh, congrats and uh, yeah. So I'll give away a mystery prize. I'll probably do one more draw here before we're done.
hoping to have good plans for tomorrow. The weather's supposed to be relatively nice around here. I've got so much to catch up on. I probably won't be doing all that much. You think you would ever do a PG on this live stream one day? Well, we've had one up for our offer if we uh, we hit certain numbers, but that was a much bigger viewer count. So we never we never quite got there. So we might do that again. Easy verification. Post a suit model number in the Discord. Wait a few minutes and chat it. Provide it's taken care of during stream. And PG for Victor, just not a people turning for it to be drawn. Yeah, exactly. I thought about doing something ridiculous like that and just drawing a ridiculous range and not not guaranteeing that somebody would win. So, you know, we just we draw a number between one and you know ten thousand or something once a stream. Pick up nine week old German Shepherd pup tomorrow. Nice Willis. That's cool. We were thinking about if we ever got a dog, German Shepherd would be cool to get. But we definitely can't handle a dog right now. The the kids are enough like animals as it is. To be watching him build that for years. Oh, you mean build one? Oh, maybe. So I'm still debating what I should build for uh, a charity stream. Last year I built the entire Magonet core over the course of a weekend. Uh, I'd like to try to do like a ridiculous, like, you know, 20 hour stream or something and build something outrageous. <clears throat> <clears throat> this uh, probably like December. Uh, I think last time it was like the weekend after Christmas. So I'm contemplating something like that. But I don't know if it's a PG or, you know, like the, uh, the high grade dendrobium, if I can get it. You know, something ridiculous like that or what I would do. I'm open to ideas. Continue to build on my build station desk. Nice, Eduardo. But the PG would probably take months to complete. Probably. I mean, the RG full armor unicorn took me like two months. It felt like GM and ball army. Eh. I'd probably do it for a PG. Depends on how crazy I go on number removal, I think. Hey, Nick, how does the mecha color perform? I like it. That's what I use for, for my painting is the uh, Vallejo mecha color. If you let it cure properly and use the uh, <clears throat> um, use the right thinning ratios and stuff, it works pretty well. There we go. Nice little notch for that to go in. Groove for that. There we go, we got the upper leg. And this goes down here. Built the magnet core. I didn't like clean any of that stuff up. I'd like just completely snapped it because it would have taken me forever. Wow, 
Why does this not want to stick in? <clears throat> not to do PGX here. Astre, Faz Verka, that'd be pretty cool. Psycho Zaku Verka, that'd be neat. Or a Sazabi Verka, that'd be cool. Build the MG New and Sazabi. I don't think I could do both. Or whatever the spell is. Dendrobium. Or Ray should use Rebecca Color. So I use <clears throat> five. 511 of uh, color to uh, thinner to uh, flow improver. I usually put like a drop of flow improver, then five drops of paint, and then a drop of thinner and mix that together. Um, obviously, if I want more, I just multiply those up. And that seems to work pretty well for me. Uh, your mileage might vary, and I think there's definitely some colors that, uh, like some of the primers, need a little bit more thinner and stuff than others. But that that works well for me. Maybe convert a magnet to RG by adding lights and custom scribing. See, custom work seems like crazy to do over a marathon session, unless I'm really good at what I'm doing because I'm gonna be tired by the end of it. So I wanna do something that's more just raw, pump something out. I don't want to be doing a whole lot of figuring out as part of something like that because I probably won't succeed. So a fancy conversion is probably out but I could probably predict how long a PG would take or like a massive high grade or master grade or something. Ever used tap water center? I have not. I've only played by the rules so far. I haven't been in a situation where I've needed to get desperate or anything. Psycho in time, maybe a psycho. That could be interesting. I feel like I want to do something that that's relatively rare. Like that's why a dendrobium comes to mind because the high-grade dendrobium is pretty uncommon anyway. It's probably doable within 20, 24 hours or something like that. I know the coming contest, the entire 30 minute missions line. That'd be pretty crazy. It'd probably be really hard to get the entire line in stock or on hand for that. I have to really scrounge. Dendrobium would make sense. I just need uh, the dendrobium to come around again. Nightingale, that might be interesting. I feel like that would be an easier kit to build though, time-wise. The PG could be good, because they're just, a lot of people never get to, to build a PG, because they're, they're relatively pricey, so that'd be an interesting one to do in a crazy marathon stream. What's up, James? Both of the PG kits I built took over 20 hours each. How uh, how much cleaning and stuff was in that 20 hours? Was that like all the nub marks removed properly and stuff, or was that just snapped together? I 
MGEXS, Deep Striker, those would be interesting ones because they're uh, they're big and more uncommon. On the, is on the October shipping sheets in GPO3, but I don't see Dendrobium. So doubtful if they listed for November that you'd get one in time. Yeah, that's coming to that conclusion, so that's why I don't have my heart set on it. Should have grabbed one when I had the chance. Might actually have room to display one at the. Uh, at the warehouse if I built it. Neo Z that would be pretty cool. How the new warehouse coming along. It's going good. I'm loving having the space and the organization. It's making life a lot easier. Had a bunch of new stuff coming in lately. Restocking, new additions, stuff like that. If you guys haven't checked out what we got in this week, we got some some good stuff, I think. We got some more good stuff coming next week. We actually have some of the the uh, HG or not HG SD EX uh, Arc seventy eight Hello Kitty kits uh, in stock. At least last I checked. I don't know if we still have them in stock now, but. We have a few. And we talked about the Discord contest. It was brought up uh, MJRL, but if you uh, if you want to talk about it, that'd be great. <laughs> Should have grabbed one. I had a chance. Yeah, my gunplay anthem. Yep. Certain kits. Some kits you can just wait till they come around pretty easily, but some some of those bigger, rarer things you gotta kinda get at the right time. I should probably fix my posture before I hurt myself sitting here weird. Almost done, this is basically it, this leg here. As soon as I saw your Discord post, my little girl is stoked to build with me. Awesome, that'd be great. That sounds awesome. I'm excited. I got a horror loader for my son today for his uh, birthday. He's built one other horror, the uh, horror ball with him a while back, so I think he's excited about building that one together. Jesus, good night everyone, great hanging out with you all, like always. See you later, Jesus. Catch you uh, next time. stuff for the contest 
What's the narrative version of the Neo Zeon? I wonder if I can even get those right now, though. Those are probably in the same boat as the Dendrobium, because they come around so rarely. It's not exactly a ton of people lining up for those. Pathologically cute, did I'm about to head out as well. We'll see you later, Pathologically Cute. Phil, hey Nick, if I order 30 million minute missions option pack or two anyway, they get bundled in the same box as the raffle prize, or is that too cheesy? No, that's totally fine, man. Place the, uh, if you place an order, just uh, you can include that order number when you contact me. Or let me know and we'll get that sorted out. Or uh, or just send me the what you want and I can invoice you for the uh, difference. Would work too, if you prefer. Are the Haros good for five-year-old kids starting to build? Absolutely. They're super simple. Same thing with the petite guys, I think. They're just simple kits. Um, not a ton of parts. They're kind of cute. They're, I mean, they're good stuff. That's, that's what I did with my son. Was a, the Haro. Ball Haro. I think he, he really enjoyed that. He's really proud of it, and the the Haro loader I've been looking at for a while because he's all into construction trucks and stuff. So, just the uh, kind of almost construction theme of the uh, the kit it fits right in with what he's interested in. So, perfect. Got some ideas for the thirty minute missions contest. Just need to get paid first before I order anything. I know that feeling. I need to get paid so I can order more inventory. I was thinking I'd get a few for my nephews. That'd be that'd be wonderful. This uh, left leg now. Snap together a little bit easier. All right, so the knees. Optimus is complete. Where is this pose? There's some poses in the back here, I think. Some knocking, uh, here we go. There we go. Looking to paint this, do any seam line removal, etc. Just wondering, I'm planning on my full paint seam line removal on a few. 
Uh, matrix of leadership in the chest. It might be. The chest opens up. Um, is that what you're talking about right in there? He's got some really good articulation. Not gonna lie. You get some pretty cool little little things. Uh, so anyway, I'm, I must have lost my uh, mind there. So anyway, seam removal, I do plan on painting this. It'll probably be a straight same color. I'm not sure how much seam removal I need to do. I'm not sure if this should be a panel line here along the these joints or if those should be... Uh, sealed up that'd be kind of hard to seal i think same thing with like some of the arm stuff here so i have to do some thought about that but it's definitely gonna go in the queue for painting just a reminder everyone complete university is streaming after this yeah i think he starts <laughs> excuse me i think he starts in in a couple minutes actually so definitely check that out if you want some more streaming uh so let's do this uh final draw and uh, wrap it up for the night and I can get some sleep. So uh, let's do, I'm gonna draw two numbers and we are going to, uh, we're gonna draw a pair of Mecha Warehouse patches. We'll give away a blue one and a subdued one. Thank you, Weeks. You ever do Sony your build kits? I do not, not yet anyway. Jeez, dad sneeze returns. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. So, uh, so yeah, let's draw a number between one and 80. One and 80. One number per person. I will draw two, so I'll draw until we get two winners against those numbers. Don't forget that live 10 code right up here is good tonight. So if you're looking to pick anything up, um, oh, did I never send that out? That's funny. Whoops. I never even sent out a message on the Discord about the stream tonight. I had it all queued up to go out, and it never went out. But, uh, yeah. If you're looking for any kits, take advantage of that code. Or tools, paints, accessories, whatever. Would love the, uh, the support make it so I can keep paying my rent and such for the new warehouse and where is this I'm getting ready to put time in the chat just a minute between 1 and 80 right excited to see this thing done. I really want to paint it now. I don't know if you guys can see. It's definitely got some some pretty awesome articulation to get a kneeling pose like that. I think that's relatively rare to be able to do that. All right. Throw time in there. I'm going to draw a number two and one and 80. So this is for the blue patch. Number 68. And I know it's flipped. Number 68 for the blue patch. We have a winner. Come on, Glosser, Matt. I always go Matt Coat. I don't see a 68. Anyone want to confirm that? I don't see 68, so I think I'm gonna draw again. Or 
178. My son says hi. Hi back to uh, to your son. Okay, trying again for the blue patch. Number 25. We'll go against the same numbers here. I don't know if I remember seeing a 25 or not. And we are, oh, there we go, Frosty. Frosty is 25, is just the 125. Okay, it looks like Frosty, unless somebody else got, got it too. Looks like uh, Frosty wins the blue patch. So Frosty, you can contact me to claim that one. And number four for the subdued patch. Let's see if we got number four in here. I don't think I saw many single digit numbers. <laughs> Carry with the zero. It's between one and 80, so. That was a five and an eight and a seven, but no, no number four, I don't think. Amazing how many times I gotta redraw here. So we'll draw for the subdued one more time. This time I got 16 for the subdued. Let's see, 17, 11, 18. Bunch of 17s. I don't see a 16 either. God, I gotta keep flipping the thing. There's a slip on zero. No worries. Okay, third try. We already try 68? Was 68 already a winner? Yeah, 68 was already tried, so 42. 42. The meaning of life, the universe, and everything. Got some 44s, 43. Are we having trouble with this? What's going on? Is everybody picking the same like four numbers? I don't see a 42 either. I'm gonna draw one more time and if uh, we don't get it, then uh, I'm just gonna call it. Cause we'll be at this all night. Last try. 64. 64 for the subdued patch. If no one gets it, then we'll just pretend we didn't draw for it. Where did my, it's like my browser closed. What number did I just call? <laughs> did anyone get it this time? What number did I call? Jeez, oh, 64, that's it. My brain is melting from all the numbers I've drawn. Just gonna one quick pass through, one more quick pass through here. I don't think there's a 64. <laughs> Alrighty, well, that was like three fails in a row. So uh, we'll just, it's just a patch. I'm sure no one will be super offended. We'll, uh, there'll be a ton of drawings next week, so uh, hopefully releasing some some exciting information in the stream next week so definitely show up uh, 8 30 p.m. Eastern next Saturday hopefully we're we're given stuff Let's see one more try yeah I think I'll save it for next week we'll be giving away a lot of a lot of stuff we'll be doing lots of draws next week so where was a bonus I won't I won't cry over it
don't melt out an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> and uh, we're doing stuff next time, so hopefully see you guys next time. And, uh, and yeah, don't forget about that Live 10 code. Um, yeah, see you all next time. Have a great rest of your weekend, and uh, I'm